Good day, grade 7. So, in this video, you are going to learn how to solve the measures of angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal line. So, again, here are the different pairs of angles formed when two or more lines are being cut by a transversal line. Okay, so we have the vertical corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, linear pair, same side interior, and same side exterior angle. So as you can see, uh, the, the pairs of angles are already divided into two groups. Okay, kasi meron tayong dalawang possible relationship between the two angles in the pair. Okay, so it's either of the two relationship lang yun lang ating pagbabasihan. First po is for the vertical angles corresponding alternate interior and alternate exterior angles. So we already discussed the postulate or theorems po relating to these pairs of angles. And all of them state that these angle pairs are always congruent. Okay, so... On the other hand naman po, we have the linear pair, same side interior, and same side exterior angles. So, meron din silang mga postulate and theorem stating that these angles or pairs of angles are always supplementary. Okay? So, dalawa lang po ang relationship na ating tatandaan. It's either congruent yung angles or sila ay supplementary. Okay? So, in this video po, ang gagawin po natin is magsasolve tayo ng algebraic expressions as application po nung natutunan natin na relationship ng mga angle pairs. Okay? So, tatandaan lang po, kapag congruent yung angles, of course, we are going to equate the measurements. Okay? So, the measure of the first angle... The first angle is equal to the measure of the second angle. So, yan lang po yung uh, tatandaan nating parang general pattern na po. Okay? So, kailangan nating i-equate yung dalawang given na expression. Kasi nga sila ay congruent. So, pag naman po supplementary yung dalawang angles, so, diba, based on the definition of supplementary, the sum must be equal to 180. So, meaning, ang general pattern po or equation natin na susundin ay, so, the sum of the first angle and the second angle must be equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, ganyan po yung ating pattern na susundin. So, ngayon, let's try to apply what we have learned. Okay. So, let us try this problem. If the measure of angle 2 is 6x minus 14 and the measure of angle 8 is 3x plus 10, Find the measure of all angles. So, we have 8 angles po at yun po ang pinapahanap sa atin. But before that, before we can find the measure of the 8 angles, of course, we need to find first the value of x, okay? Or the unknown variable here. So, the first step should be uh, determine the relationship between the two given angles. So, ang atin pong given po sa problem ay angle 2 at angle 8. Okay? So, we have angle 2 and angle 8. So, by looking at the figure po, try to determine the relationship between angle 2 and angle 8. So, as you can see, the two angles are what we call the alternate exterior angles. Okay? So, they are alternate exterior angles. And according to the alternate exterior angles theorem, they are always congruent. Okay? And, ayan, so congruent sila. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 8 because they are alternate exterior angles. And since they are congruent, we can therefore say that the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 8. 
Okay, so equal yung dalawa. Meaning, we are going to equate these two expressions. Okay, so substitute lang natin yung mga expression dun sa uh, equation na nabuo natin. So, the measure of angle 2 is 6x minus 14. And then, the measure of angle 8 is 3x plus 10. So, after that, we are going to solve for x. So, solving for x means we have to isolate x and find its value. Okay? So, first po is let us eliminate this 3x by subtracting 3x from both sides. So, that will become 6x minus 14 minus 3x equals 3x plus 10 minus 3x. Okay, so ang mangyayari po ngayon, makakancel na yung 3x sa right side. Ang matitira na lang po ay positive 10. And then, ito naman po ay ating isisimplify. 6x minus 3x will become 3x. And then, bring down negative 14. So, magiging minus 14. Okay? So, ang susunod naman natin i-eliminate ay yung negative 14 po sa left side. So, para mawala po yan, we are going to add 14 on both sides. So, dahil po ito ay minus, ang kabaliktaran ay plus. So, magiging 3x minus 14 plus 14 at dahil nag-add ka ng 14 sa left, mag a ka rin ng 14 sa right. Okay? And the negative 14 plus 14 will become 0. Ang matitira na lang dito ay 3x. And then simplify 10 plus 14, that is 24. So since may 3 pa dito, kailangan din natin siyang i-eliminate. So we can do that by dividing both sides by 3. So, para ito ay maging 1. Okay? So, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And this will become 1x or simply x. And then, divide the two numbers, 24 divided by 3. The answer is 8. Okay? So, meaning the value of x is 8. So, what we are going to do next is to substitute this value to the original expression. So, hahanapin na natin ngayon yung mismong measure ni angle 2 at ni angle 8. Okay? So, syempre, dahil pinag-equate natin sila, dapat yung makuha natin equal po talaga. So, let's try. Measure of angle 2 is 6x minus 14. So, yung x na to, papalitan natin ng 8. So, magiging 6 times 8 minus 14. And then, 6 times 8 is 48. And then, 48 minus 14 will become 34. So, the answer is 34 degrees. Okay? So, we followed PEMDAS ha, kaya inuna natin yung 6 times 8 bago minus 14. Okay, so always follow PEMDAS. Next, so 34 ang measure ni angle 2. 34 degrees. So, dapat ganun din yung makukuha natin kay angle 8. So, try natin. The measure of angle 8 is 3x plus 10. Substitute the value of x, it will become 3 times 8 plus 10. And then, 3 times 8 is 24, PEMDAS po ulit, kaya unahin natin ang multiplication, and then plus 10 will become 34. Ayan, so parehas po tayo ng nakuha. Ayan, so tama po ang ating sagot dahil sila ay nag-equal. So, ang gagawin naman po natin, hahanapin na natin yung anim pa na natitira. So, yung measure ni angle 1, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, and angle 7. Okay? So, dahil meron na naman tayo ditong given na dalawa, makukuha na natin yung mga natitira. Let's start with the measure of angle 1. So, para po makuha natin yung measure ni 1, kailangan natin siyang i-relate dun sa maalin sa dalawang given na 
angle. So, pwedeng key angle 2, pwedeng key angle 8. Okay? Pero, kung titingnan po natin, si angle 1 and 2 nagpo-form ng linear pair, meaning sila ay supplementary. So, on the other hand naman, si angle 1 at angle 8 ay same side exterior angles. And same side exterior angles are also supplementary. So, kahit saan naman pala natin siya i-relate, parehas lang ng relationship. Supplementary. Okay? So, dahil supplementary po siya, para makuha natin yung measure ni angle 1, isusubtract po natin yung 34 sa 180. So, 180 minus 34 is 146 degrees. So, that is the measure of angle 1. So, 146 degrees. So, now we can find the remaining angles easily kasi meron na po tayong two different angle measures. Diba? So, doon may pattern naman po yun. So, madali na natin mahahanap yung natitira. So, let's start or let's move on to angle 3. Ayan, so as you can see, vertical ang angle 1 at angle 3. So vertical angles are congruent, meaning the measure of angle 3 is also 146 degrees. Okay, so next is angle 4, this one. So since angle 4 is vertical with angle 2, they are congruent. So, the measure of angle 4 is also 34 degrees. Next, so for the measure of angle 5, so pwede natin po siyang igaya sa corresponding niya o sa alternate interior niya. Okay, so kung titingnan po natin, ang corresponding angle po, ni angle 5 ay si angle 1. And corresponding angles are always congruent. Meaning, the measure of angle 5 is also 146 degrees. Next, next is the measure of angle 6. So, angle 6 is vertical with angle 8, meaning... The measure of angle 6 is also 34 degrees. And lastly, we have the measure of angle 7. So, angle 7 is, so this angle 6 is 34 degrees. So, angle 7 is vertical with angle 5, meaning they are congruent. So, the measure of angle 7 is also 146 degrees. So, now we already have the measures of all the angles. Okay. So, again, uh, the first step is to determine the relationship between the two given angles. And then after that, we are going to make an equation out of that relationship and then solve for the value of x. After that, you are going to substitute uh, the value of x to the original expressions. Okay, and then after that, you're going to find the rest of the angles. So, let's have another example. Okay, so if the measure of angle 3 is 6x plus 2 and the measure of angle 6 is 2x minus 6, find the measure of all angles. So, gonna let so, let's mark angle 3 and angle 6. So, what is the relationship between the two angles? So, as you can see, they are same side interior angles. Okay? And according to the theorem, same side interior angles are always supplementary. Okay? So, supplementary sila meaning... The measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, ganun po ulit ang gagawin natin. Substitute the algebraic expressions into this equation. So, the measure of angle 3 
is 6x plus 2. And then plus the measure of angle 6 which is 2x minus 6. Okay, and then equals 180. Okay, so next po is we're going to combine similar terms. So 6x plus 2x is 8x. And then 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Because that is 2 plus negative 6. Okay, kaya siya magiging negative 4. And then bring down 180. So next po is to eliminate negative 4. For us to do that, we are going to add 4. So, kailan opposite sila para maging 0, di ba? And also, we are going to add 4 on the other side. So, this will become 0. Ang matitira na lang ay 8x. And then, 180 plus 4 is 184. So, next is to divide both sides by 8. Para ma-eliminate natin yung 8 sa tabi ni x. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1 or simply x. And then, 184 divided by 8 is 23. Okay, so this is the value of x, 23. So, the next thing that we're going to do is to substitute this value to the expression. So, dapat ang makuha natin kung measure ni angle 3 at ni angle 6 ay magiging 180 kapag pinagsama. So, let's first find the measure of angle 3. So, the measure of angle 3 is 6x plus 2. So, substitute natin yung 23 sa x magiging 6 times 23 plus 2. Okay, so applying our PEMDAS, 6 times 23 is 138. Okay, and then 138 plus 2 is 140 degrees. So that is the measure of angle 3. So let's now find the measure of angle 6. Dapat ang makuha natin yung supplement ng 140. So tingnan nga natin. 2x minus 6 will become 2 times 23 minus 6. And then 2 times 23 is 46. And 46 minus 6 is equal to 40 degrees. So, tama po yung ating values. Kasi ang 140 at 40 pag binagsama, 180 degrees. Ayan. So, dahil na-satisfy na po yung ating equation, nahanap na natin yung dalawang supplementary angles, hahanapin na natin yung mga natitira. So, si angle 3 ay 140 degrees. And then, si angle 6 ay 40 degrees. So, madali na nating makukuha yung mga natitira. Let's start with angle 1. Angle 1, vertical sa angle 3. So, pareha sila. And then, next, angle 2. So, angle 2. So, ang angle 2 ay corresponding ng 6, di ba? So, corresponding angles are congruent, meaning angle 6 or angle 2 rather is the same as angle 6, which is 40. So, pag pinagsama natin ng 1 and 2, di ba linear pair siya, supplementary sila. So, as you can see, 1, 40 and 40, supplementary. Okay, let's proceed. Measure of angle 4. So, vertical po si 4 kay 2. So, pareha sila. 40 degrees. Okay? Ayan. So, hindi ko pala nalagyan. 140 to. And then, ito ay 40. And then, ito ay 40. Okay? Next, angle 5. So, the measure of angle 5 is 
the same as the measure of its corresponding angle, which is angle 1. Pwede rin naman sa alternate interior niya, which is angle 3. So, makikita niya naman, parehas lang din naman sila. So, 140. Kaya, ang measure niya, angle 5 ay 140 din. Next, angle 7. So, since vertical sila ni angle 5, edi 140 na rin siya. And then, lastly, we have angle 8. So, the measure of angle 8. So, dahil si angle 8 ay vertical kay angle 6, parehas sila dapat, which is 40. Okay? Ayan. Yan. So, we're done. Makuha na natin yung walong angles. Okay? So, again, yun lang po yung tatandaan po natin na gagawin kapag ang given angles ay supplementary. So, ang gagawin po ay i-add natin yung dalawang expression, i-equate po natin yung sum nila sa 180 degrees. And then, isasolve na natin yung x. And then, same process no kanina, substitute muna. And then, hanapin na po yung mga natitirang angles. Okay? So, ganun po ha. Kapag congruent, equate. Kapag sila ay supplementary, add and then equals to 180 degrees. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you for listening. This is Mom Sheila, your learning buddy in math.